Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Sunny, and I am back, back at it again with another intuitive general message. I have not done these in forever, like forever. Um, side note to everyone who has ordered a special, I'm gonna do specials today. I have a lot of specials to do, and I will get to your special as soon as I can. Um, if I haven't received the payment from you, I will email you and let you know. Um, I email people personally and say, hey, this is your code name. This is the link to your video. This is yours. Yeah. So <laughs> please be patient with me, everybody. Today is the 18th of April, 2016. I am feeling fabulous and wonderful. I hope you are as well. But we have a lot going on, you guys. With the energy, we have a lot going on. We are going to be in Taurus season. So shout out to all my Taurus and happy birthday to you guys celebrating your birthday. So... We have a lot of planets going into retrograde. We have Pluto, Mars, and the infamous Markaway. Oh no. Okay, so like people may be really just you know kind of shocked and just really paranoid about these retrogrades. I was, to be honest. But this is gonna be a really good time for us to get over our fears, for us to gain a new approach, gain new strategies towards things, and to allow for things to play out, I will say. With Mars being in retrograde, this is gonna be a really good time for us. Like, to me, everybody has their own opinions, but I'm just gonna go off on what I feel. With Mars um, going into retrograde, I feel like this is gonna be a really good time for us to remain positive, to enemies and to just be careful of us seeking approval to be honest who gives a fuck what anyone else has to say about us I will say and honestly this is really going to be a good time to be careful of any impulsive behavior with Pluto going into retrograde we are going to be really 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 deeply in our heads and we may become very obsessive over things especially people and um maybe the material world but this is going to be a really good time for us to examine our our true self like our our demon side i like to say our darker side and just you know change up things for the better with mercury going into retrograde oh my god just be careful of impulsive shopping just just acting crazy but we do have a full moon and uh scorpio so do be aware of you wanting to control things i feel like this is going to be a really good time to release with uh full moons i've to me full moons are like the wishing well and this is also going to be a really good time for self-reflecting and just be mindful of our wants and needs and if the things that we truly want do we need them so just take that into consideration but let's see six cards general message for everyone all over the world it does not matter where you are general message for everyone all right so off the gate i feel like this is going to be an awesome time to cleanse homes um be mindful of your foundation please be careful of your anger during this time i feel that many of you like you may break out um like what like whatever i just feel like there's going to be breaking out or there's some sort of eruption going on this is honestly going to be an awesome time to just be mindful of habits and to just step out of your comfort zone Ooh, nice okay so I'm saying that many of you there may be some separations going on with um, relationships or marriages or you're really thinking about it I feel like some of you you may find that people are being cold to you people who are once very nice to you they're being cold basically things are turning if you've been in a happy relationship you're seeing the downfalls in and out if you've been in a tough relationship things may be more clear and you may discover that your partner is being more communicative with you am I, am I saying it right communicative they're they're conversating with you a bit more <laughs> I honestly feel that you may find yourself paying a bit more when it comes to bills I'm picking up on some missed bills or maybe you underestimated the amount of something that you were gonna have to pay 
I also feel like this is going to be a really good time for people to weigh out the pros and the cons when it comes to like, sh yeah, their shopping addictions or do you need that nice dress, darling? Do you need those nice sneakers? Okay. I also feel like some of you, like you're going to have to make some sacrifices involving the home. You may discover past lovers coming back, but I feel like they will not stay. I feel like this, they, they are coming to you with help. And I feel that they will ask a lot of questions like, hey, how did you overcome this? Or what, what do you feel like I need to do? I feel like they just need guidance and they just see you as someone who's really strong. Or they feel like you can help them. I mean, it's up to you to figure out if you want to help them or not. I feel like you will gain good karma if you do. I feel that if you do not want to pursue people from the past then you shouldn't I mean like if you want to communicate with them cool but like don't go out of your way to like want to be with them or like whatever the case may be I do feel like uh, good karma is going to come to those who who are patient I'm hearing so some of you you may find yourself uh, maybe waiting to get things maybe um, like with loans uh, statements I'm hearing a statement upon something property issues you're waiting to hear back within something maybe you're waiting for a relationship i do feel that if you are discovering that your mate is um acting different i do feel that either they're partying more with friends or they found someone else okay and i also feel that if this is the case do not chase after people just do what's best for you I honestly feel like this is gonna be a really good time for many people to I'm hearing explore explore their emotional side find a balance within yourself remain calm remain calm when things are very weird I also feel that if someone is very cold and mean to you don't overreact like don't blow up on them and be like you're hurting me you're doing this like no just hell do what they're doing be like okay straight pop 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 poker face lady gaga status okay i'm really lame but um i honestly feel like when it comes to finances things i feel like it can go either way and it truly depends upon what's going on in your chart i feel that for some of you this is going to be really good time financially and then for others things may not go your way there's going to be a lot of unexpected bills maybe you missed a payment or you added something into the equation and that's an extra bill so it really just depends upon what's going on within your chart i honestly feel like with this energy it is very mental and there's a lot of past a lot of past karma is coming back and i feel like this is going to be a really good time for you to i'm hearing unlock unlock chains especially if you've been feeling restricted or if you've been feeling as if you're going through the same thing all over again do something different change something up i feel like some of you like you're going you're going to think about like revamping yourself maybe you're going through a makeover rather this is um mentally like you you just want to feel better about yourself or maybe physically like you're changing your hair um maybe you're getting plastic surgery maybe you're shopping a bit more so be careful of that darling um but i do feel that many of you there's a like you're gaining a new mindset when it's involving your independence and you are becoming more disciplined of yourself and others around you. Beautiful time for those who are having anger issues to like just calm down and breathe. I'm hearing that some of you like you need to be outside a, a little bit more and you need to smell the flowers. Like you need to enjoy life. You need to interact with new people. I feel like this is going to be a fairly, I guess, cool time to meet new people. They may not stay in your life for too long because, like I said, we are going in Mercury retrograde. And usually, like, when new people come into our lives around Mercury retrograde, mm, eight times out of ten, they are going to come out when Mercury retrograde is over. Especially if there was a very big karmic lesson with this person. But sometimes they can stay. I guess it just depends upon what's going on. But I do feel like this energy is very beautiful, to be honest, with moving forward by gaining new strategies, gaining a new mindset, and 
dealing with your karma I will say very beautiful time for dealing with karma but important messages for my elements let's see important messages for fire signs during this time first card be careful of I'm hearing um, be careful of the fission be careful of you being too much into your head and of your expectations because right now you may not get the things that you want important message for fire signs during this time for from now to three weeks bruh like a lot of cards want to pop out for you guys okay so with the knight of wands you guys are in your element definitely i do feel like y'all kind of need to calm down a little bit like maybe involving your impulsive behavior like your expectations i also feel like this is going to be a really good time for you to do things out of the norm and for you to have fun but just don't have any set expectations on how the, on on how things should be. Love relationships may be really on your mind during this time. But put yourself first, okay? Important messages during this time from now to three weeks for my water signs. First card on the top. Okay, the justice card. So I feel like some of you, like you may be blind. To a situation or you are going to be very intuitive during this time i feel that this is going to be an awesome time for you to rely on your gut feelings some of you you may have very powerful dreams during this time there's a sense of good luck with many of you but i feel that there may be some karmic debt going on you're going through a karmic situation during this time I feel that for some of you, there may be a sense of betrayal, whether this is for you or for someone else. And something is going to hit you very blindsidedly. Okay. Important messages for my earth signs from now to three weeks. Important messages that my earth signs need to know during this time. First card on the top. Mm. Uh my mom is calling me. I'm going to have to put you on hold, Miss Sally. So, with the Five of Swords, with this, I feel like I'm picking up farewell. I'm not picking up on negative energy. A lot of other cards want us to pop out. I feel that whoever needs to walk out of your life, you need to let them go. And you need to see things from another person's point of view. I feel like you need to be patient. And you need to understand that the stars... Um that the stars are your gateway i'm hearing i don't know why like maybe make wish upon stars um maybe you need to be careful of you being too starry eyed i feel like this is going to be a fairly good time for you to understand why you are in difficult situations during this time i do feel that you are going to gain growth but you need to have your you need to have your head up and you need to be mindful of your placement within certain things do not force nor rush things to be honest air signs important messages for my air signs during this time from now to three weeks important messages for air signs first card on the top all right so the two of cups i really feel like this is going to be an awesome time for many of you to be mindful of genuine connections. I feel that harsh energy is going to fade away for some of you. I feel like many of you, you are going to gain some blessings from your divine God and angels. Um, I also feel that you may find your... I f I'm picking up like chess. And you may feel as if you have to strategize or you have to play games with people to get what you want, honey. Do what you want, child. Do what you feel is best for you. I feel that playing other people's games is going to be a, a bit too much. But I'm seeing that you always need to check yourself. You need to be mindful of your own motives. If you don't want to play games with people, awesome then don't but if you do then i feel like you may get very exhausted with the other person's energy and having to compete with them or having to like 
you know, follow through with their moves. But beautiful time for messages and understanding your direction and understanding um, where you are in life, to be honest. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this message. Good luck with everything. And you should see more videos because I'm about to upload some specials. Bye.